Hello Internet. So I apologize for the really weird lighting. The sun is like beaming directly at me and I am sorry that you can hear the air conditioner in my car, but it's really, really hot in here because my car was sitting out in the sun. But today it is gender bent performance day and I am so, so, so excited. I'm about to drive back to school right now to do the show. Well, to be there for call time, but whatever. We've been working so hard on this and we've been rehearsing so much and I just cannot wait. So that's why my makeup is like ridiculous right now. Like these lashes are just like, I can't even. Because when I buy lashes, like I never buy the natural looking ones. Like I always buy the super crazy theatrical ones. I mostly wear them on camera, but of course I wear them on stage as well. And I bought like a deluxe pack with like, cause I needed lash glue and I needed lashes. So I just got like the pack where it was like two pairs of lashes and a, a bottle of glue. And I looked at the lashes and I was like, oh, these are nice, like, long, thick lashes. Like, they'll be good for stage. And then I put them on, and they were, like, freaking spider legs. And I was just like, okay, but I'm kind of digging it. Like, I kind of love it. I just, I love having, like, ridiculous eyelashes. Like, fun fact, the first time I ever wore fake lashes was when I was about, like, six or seven years old for a dance recital. And I remember that I loved them because they had, um, like, on the band of them, like, if you look, zoom in, sort of, you can kind of see that there's, like, a band there. Like, because these are strip lashes, they're not individual. My mom bought like strip lashes where the strip had like rhinestones on it and I thought that the, that was like the coolest thing ever. And I think it was good that I thought it was like the coolest thing ever because I can't imagine that it's easy to glue like fake hair to the eyeball of a seven year old. But yeah, I'm really excited. Um, I have like a ton of stuff in my trunk for this show that I'm gonna show you in the next clip because like it's truly ridiculous. And the only thing that's worrying me right now is that we just had two cast members have um, pretty serious medical things things um and I'm you know worried about them because they're my friends I'm like oh like holy shit like that's not good but I'm also um worried about possibly we're gonna have to slightly reblock things but there's like this little voice in my head that's going like it's always worked out it's always worked out it's always worked out because every recital something comes up or somebody drops out or we have to change something at the last minute but somehow it always works out so yeah I'm gonna drive over there I'll check in and I'll talk to y'all later so this is everything that I need for the show here we have tripod number one, tripod number two, my camera bag with everything in it, my show bag with all my costumes and shoes. Uh, in this bag we have newspaper props for King of New York, and here we have some water bottles for the cast, and here we have some more water, water bottles for the cast. There is nobody in the dressing room, except me. And I just saw that there actually are water bottles in here, like right down there, and that kind of sucks because I bought water bottles for the whole cast, but I guess if we don't like end up using them and we just drank those, like we'll have them for the reception. I don't know why I'm spinning, but we. I'm gonna give you a tour of the dressing room because I have nothing better to do right now. So here's the door here, ooh, which I just shut. Here is um, a monitor so we can hear what's going on um, on stage and keep track of the show. Here we have some paintings, more paintings. Up here, there's more paintings. Here's like the curtain rod with a bunch of hangers and down here, there's water bottles that I totally didn't know they were gonna be there, but actually there weren't water bottles in the, the guy's dressing room, so good that I bought them. And then there's a pile of like old cheap music that I found when I got here. There's a chair. Here's another chair. There's another chair. There's a table and there's a phone there and there's like a bunch of my crap there, which I'm gonna like, you know, take up less space with my crap. And here's a music stand. It says Copen School Music, yeah. And here are the mirrors, which a lot of the lights are out and I've claimed this spot for myself. And yeah, so I put my makeup back there. And there's more chairs. And then here's the bathroom. And like, you're gonna think this is really weird. Oh, light went on. So this is like really weird, but like the bathroom has a shower in it. I don't know if anybody's ever used that, but there's a shower. Yeah. <laughs> and then yeah, here's our dressing room. Whee! We're going on an adventure to the wings of the frack where I have to preset stuff, including my binder. And I already set some of my costumes there because I have not one but two quick changes in this show, which kind of sucks, but yeah. So there's not a table around here, but as you can see, there's my tap shoes, there's my shirt, socks, and um, bobby pins for the girls who have hats for King of New York. And I need that binder for Endless Night uh, because I'm singing in the chorus and we're singing in the organ loft, which is like, up there, and um, Endless Night is right after my solo, so I'm literally gonna have to run, grab my binder, go into the organ loft, and sing again. So yeah, that's that's life. Like every show, I have a quick change in some form or another, although these quick changes aren't that bad because it's like I have one number to change, which is like three to five minutes, which for a quick change is kind of glorious and pretty luxurious, so not a problem. 
so fun fact, I'm like eternally almost hitting Michelle with the door to the dressing room. <laughs> I just can't I'm move, sorry. but I'll never move. Sorry. Is that the Bronco Club bag? It totally it is. is. Twin. <laughs> well, I don't have mine with me, but I use it for like everything. No. Alexa brought like the cutest cake ever. Yay. And yes, I love this. And then there's Shinji. Double chocolate cake. <laughs> She's got that cake though. Got that cake. And that Gingy. That Gingy cake. Ah, oh my god, it's so bright. Ah. I just asked if anybody was naked and everybody said no. You're on the internet. So I had to step out of the uh, dressing room because it was like a million degrees because those dressing rooms go from like zero to a hundred degrees in like two seconds. But I'm in costume now for my first number, which is Live and Loving Color, which you can... Well, I don't have my shoes on because I didn't want to put my character shoes on. I didn't feel like walking around in heels. We're going on an adventure! We're going on a trip in our favorite, favorite rocket ship. Made it through the Wait, sky. Wait, people? Little Einstein. Let's go. Wait, Michelle, you know where we're going. Okay, so. Alexa. Here, Alexa. So here is where we enter from, which is stage right. Oh, okay. Oh, huh? 268. Yes, so this is where we enter from. Um, if you have a quick change, preset your stuff. Right. I already did on the stairs. Are you telling the viewers? I am, I am. Stuff? And viewers, so. Viewers, preset your stuff. Hi. Okay, and so from here, to go to stage left, which you don't have to enter from, but I don't know. Um, and vice versa. Hi, Rose. Hi. Uh, Hi. We're going on an adventure. Something, something oh. in my All right. Where are we entering from? We're entering from stage right, but they just oh, want to know how to get between the wings, so we're going to do that. I have my makeup yet. I look simply awful. Alexa, you look beautiful. You Shut up. Cupcake of the world. Yeah, you are. A, I like that, Michelle. You are a cupcake of the world. So we're going to go around I here. I have literally no makeup on at all. You look fine. And yeah, then we go over this way. And then we go here to stage left where there's a set list and there's a set list over oh, there too. Perfect. So, so this is where we exit. Yeah. This is where we exit off of. Yes. Like greens to blue instead of a purple to blue. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Neo, you just wanted to be in the vlog so much. Yeah. Look at all the colors. They had it coming. They had it coming. Thanks, Amy. They only okay. had it. We're only referring to I'm so excited for this. Michelle just called me a stove. I did. I don't know what that means. Would you like me to explain it? Go Again. for it. Go for She's it. She's as hot as a stove and cute as a cupcake. Boom. Cupcake stove. With freaking spider lashes. <laughs> I literally bought the fakest lashes in the world. Like, this is high Georgia. God, I'm sweating like a mother. Oh my god! And yes, to Alexa and Katie slaying on stage. That monitor, though. <laughs> it's intermission. I'm sweating bullets, but yay! It's, and your cheeks, Allie's cheeks have gotten redder and redder throughout the night. And just to clarify, like, that's not just like stage makeup. She's actually playing Pinocchio, so. Oh no, Gigi. I suck. I suck. M Michelle's Pinocchio. And Michelle's not even here. Look at the Mormons! I am wait, Mormon. wait there, and Gingy. Ah, this is the most awful. Believes, yeah. I'm I'm wearing an actual flannel because it's my costume, but it's also a thousand degrees back here. So this is thoroughly unpleasant. <laughs> so I finally, Yay! finally told her Yay! that she's gonna be my new assistant, and oh, she's no. super excited and reacted way better than I could have ever expected. You just so. made my entire year. <laughs> I'm so excited. I can't wait. So I've been trying to keep it in for like two weeks and it's been really hard. So yay! Michelle's the new AD. So show's over. It's kind of sad, but I now have to do my least favorite part of the night, which is picking up and putting my stuff back in my bag. And it's like, son, I'm going to get sleep. Rose, shut up. I'm going to start sleeping again. But anyway, like my least favorite part of the show is when I have to put everything back in my bag because everything is like all across the dressing room because oh, I can't. Them. Like, look, look at, look at all of that. Look There's at. There's always a very good choice. <laughs> look at this. Like, remember in the beginning of the like vlog when it was just me in the dressing room and there was like just my stuff? Yeah. Look at all of this. Oh, we look at walking. this. Look, look, look at that. that. What are those? What are those? What are those? What are those? Oh. The What Are Those Symphony in I'm Too Freaking Tired Major. Thank you, Major. 
So for those of you who don't know, I spent about an hour and a half yelling about how A major is a basic bitch ass key for no reason other than that I'm sleep deprived and that's something that makes sense and I'm really tired. But I'm gonna end this vlog because I should stop. Bye vlog! Yeah. Bye! Bye.